Hi, my name is Peach. Let me not waste your time. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this hyper zoom. I originally saw this tutorial from Heaton and I decided to make it my own for DaVinci. Here I have our clip set up like this. We have our first clip, a space for the hyper zoom, and then our last clip. What we're going to do first is scale our clips. Oh, in order to do that, what I'm going to get is a adjustment clip. And if you don't know how to get an adjustment clip, you're going to go to your effects library. You're going to go to toolbox, effects, and add an adjustment clip and drag it on your timeline. I'm going to get one that I have over here. Drag it on there. Right here, oops, wrong one. Like that, and extend it through the whole clip. Now, what we're going to do is go in the fusion page, right click, you can hit open in fusion, you can just hit the fusion page like that. You're going to do some scales and slides. I have the clip originally have a slide in from the left, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Just space, add a transform node. I use, I've been using the second transform node, that's a better motion blur it controls. So let's add that. And let's add a slide. So let's keyframe the X position at the start of the clip. Let's go to the end of the clip and hit the keyframe again. We can go back to our clip by hitting the arrow. And then we could move this to the right. Something like that should be fine. And then now we can go to our spline graph. And go up here to our spline, open it here, the X position on. Then we could hit the zoom to fit. So both of our keyframes fit in the frame. We're gonna highlight both of these keyframes like this. I'm gonna hit S to smooth them out. And then what we can do is adjust these curves like this. I'm just gonna do something like that. If you hold Alt, you can have this line stay parallel like this the whole time. And we just make something like this. That's fine. Now we're gonna do the zoom part of the hyper zoom. So what I'm gonna do is shift space, add another transform node, just like that. And I like the keyframe in the middle this time for the zoom because I don't need to be zooming the whole time. So about there should be fine. Keyframe, go to the end, keyframe it again, and I'm gonna use the value of three at the end. Like that, open up our spline graph. This doesn't show up like this, we can drag this node into the spline viewer and it will show up our splines. Say add like this. And then we want to look at this graph, it looks like that. Zoom to fit, highlight our nodes, our keyframes, hit S and do something like this. I might have the curve be a little tighter. I want to zoom in quick, just like that. All right, now what we can do is also add our motion blur. So I'm gonna click the first node again, and since it's moving in towards the left, we have our X moving like this. Keyframe some motion blur and towards one. And let's keyframe it like three frames after and put it to zero, like that. And then let's do the same for the zoom part, but at the end, so keyframe here, three frames, like this. And then I'm also gonna do the scale out on the next clip. So let's grab another adjustment clip, put it on top of our clip, drag it on, and go into the fusion page. Now we're gonna do the same thing, grab another transform node. But this time we're gonna keyframe at the start, keyframe at the end, but that last value is gonna be 0.2 to 1.3. I'm going to go point three. We do this so you can avoid showing motion talent on the sides. If I have this value below one, you could see that there would be, you would see the outside of the screen, it would be black. Or if we had uh, our edge behavior to reflect, you would see the mirror edges, which we don't want to see. So I'm just going to keep that at one and then adjust our spline. So up here, drag this in. Zoom to fit, highlight our keyframes, hit S, and drag it up like this. Something like this should be fine. Or maybe something looser. Here, that should be fine. Let's keyframe some motion blur. All right. Now, what we're gonna do for our main portion of the hyper zoom is to grab one frame of different scenes in the anime or the footage that we are using. Here, it says sober. In the song, so I decided to get uh, get scenes or one frame of each scene of him using the sleeping pills that he's using in the anime, or energy drinks that he is using. So I have just enough to fill this in. It's about 12 frames. I need to fill. Yeah, I have 12 frames over here. But what I'm going to do is drag this and put it in the place where we're going to do our hyper zoom. So we should have this, 
and there's not much zooming going on so this is what we do with our adjustment clip add another one right on top of our footage drag it along and put it on top go into the fusion and let's add another transform now, to apply the motion looking like it's zooming in i'm going to keyframe from one and then go to the end and i'm going to do about value 1.6 that should be fine and then i'm going to apply motion blur the whole time but that's not all we're going to do we're also going to add a zoom blur so shift space zoom blur you apply to our clip like this and we could keyframe it so in the middle it's going to be more zoomy and then at the end it's not so it's, it's fine because we're already zooming in so keyframe here keep it in the middle i'm going to do about 0 0.6 something like that's good and then towards the end i'm going to loosen it up and go like 0.3 and what we can also do, which is common in hyperzooms, is desaturate the footage in the middle. So the way we're going to do that is grab a brightness contrast node from right here, put it on our timeline, and then keyframe this. So at the start, in the middle, let's bring down the saturation, and then towards the end, let's bring it back. It's like this. Alright, so we should have something that looks like this. Alright, and that should be your effect. I presume. If you have any questions or requests on tutorials I should do in the future, please let me know down below. If you'd like to join a Discord server focused around Resolve AMVs, there's one in the description as well as my own server if you'd like to join. And with that, subscribe and have a good day. To make this, you need a fusion clip. And let's make it two seconds. Background, connect it. Text node, connect it. Caps. Want this you're gonna add a mask connect it and then you keyframe the position center and down that that's fine make this mask small like this goes like that change the spline that and then you're gonna add a glow. You hit raise. You put the blend down a lot. And then also have the rays go moving upwards. So you can keep in the position of the rays. Just like that. And then you can have it fade out. So just merge like that. And then change the blend. Keyframe it all the way down.